the increase in temperature on Earth turns out to have a big impact on the climate in it. This temperature increase, in addition to having an impact on climate change, of course it will also threaten the survival of human life itself. Human consumptive behavior that depends on the use of fossil fuels and is also a waste of energy. Of course the impact is serious. One of the tangible forms that can be seen today is by starting to melt the cooling components of the Earth. What's that? Watch this video till the end. A glacier is a large and thick chunk or deposit of ice that forms above the ground surface. In addition to being a gathering place for ice, it turns out that this glacier has one important function for the Earth and humans. Like air conditioning in the room, glacier turns out to function as a cooling temperature on Earth. But what happens when this glacier is gone? Imagine like you are in a room, with many people in the hot sun without air conditioning, of course it will be very hot. The loss of glaciers will certainly contribute to the increase in temperature on Earth. But the question is is it true that the glaciers are starting to run out and have melted? Let's just look at the facts of most of the glaciers on Earth, let's look at a few that you may have visited and have traveled there. Where is that glacier? mountain. Really? Some mountains, they have snow peaks. However, due to human actions, the glaciers began to disappear and melt. Mount Everest, Nepal. From the BBC, February 2, 2022, the South Kal Glacier area on Mount Everest in question, has lost an ice sheet thickness of more than 54 meters in the last 25 years. The glacier is at 7,906 meters above sea level, thinning 80 times faster than before. The cause is strongly suspected to be the hotter temperatures recently due to the climate change situation as well as the strong winds. It says that since the 1990s, the ice sheet that took 2,000 years to form has melted. As a result, the eroded snow makes the lower part more exposed to sunlight, accelerating the melting of the glacier. For those of you who have climbed to the top of Everest, maybe in the next few decades it may be that when you climb to the top of Mount Everest, you will not find a large part of the mountain's glacier. And of course the function of the glacier will be lost, causing the Earth's temperature to begin to rise. Himalayas, Asia Quoted from Compass.com, 2021 From a study led by the University of Leeds revealed, over the last few decades Himalayan glaciers have been losing ice 10 times faster than what happened when the last major glacier expansion 400 to 700 years ago, known as the Small Ice Age. Researchers also calculated that the glacier has lost about 40% of its area, shrinking from a peak of 28,000 square kilometers and today to about 19,600 square kilometers. During this period, Himalayan glaciers lost between 390 cubic kilometers and 586 cubic kilometers of ice, the equivalent of all the ice currently in the Alps of Central Europe, the Caucasus and Scandinavia. Of course the shrinkage or reduction of the glacier area is getting bigger and bigger, because the research was carried out last year. For informers, all of this climbing to the top of the Himalayas, should be done immediately before all the ice melts. Mount Jayawijaya, Papua, Indonesia Known as the nickname of eternal snow, in fact it does not make the ice slash glaciers on Mount Kilimanjaro eternal forever. 
Based on research by the Meteorology, Climatology and Geophysics Agency, BMKG, in June 2010, the thickness of the ice in Punkak Jawajaya, Papua, reached 31.49 meters. The thickness of the ice there is decreasing every year. From 2010 to 2015, for example, the thickness of the ice in Punkak Jaya was reduced by 5.26 meters. This means, in a year, Punkak Jaya loses about 1.05 meters of ice. Ironically, from 2015 to 2016 or within one year, the thickness of the ice in Punkak Jaya was reduced by 5.7 meters due to a very strong El Nino. By February 2021, ice loss had reached 23.46 meters. If you look at these data, according to the BMKG, the ice in Punkak Jaya, which is known as eternal snow, is predicted to disappear forever in 2025. It is predicted that by 2025, the ice in Punkak Jaya will be extinct, it will no longer exist. And currently, the condition is only 1% of the ice area there. From 200 square kilometers, now there are only 2 square kilometers, said Dwakorda Karnawati, head of BMKG. It is a very big loss for one of the equatorial countries if it loses one of the icons of climbing tourism and also a source of cooling temperatures in Indonesia. Have the informers also visited the mountain? The melting of glaciers is certainly a very big loss for humans, in addition to rising air temperatures. Other chain effects must also occur, including rising sea or river temperatures, crop failure, flooding or the sinking of a city due to rising sea levels. Have all the informers ride bicycles when going to the office today? <laughs>